Okay, so today we actually shifted gears and decided to work from the Rubank books, which is how I grew up learning to play the flute. I was trying to do some music learning theory stuff and I'm, I'm just not as crazy about that book uh, that I first gave you guys. So Lily is learning how to play um, in the key of C and she's starting with G. All right, I'm showing her, I, I sent her home a new fingering chart as well, but G is thumb, first, second, and third with um, pinky in this hand. Otherwise, none of these three fingers are playing. Here's my G. Then I lift this ring finger up like that and play A. Lift my middle finger up and play B. And now my thumb of this hand finally comes up. So I'm playing C, which she already knows. And what we're doing is we're noodling around with those um, notes. So I called them so, la, ti, and do. And in the book that I'm lending you guys, um, I actually wrote the chord roots in there. So uh, someone can accompany her on the piano or she can take a break from the flute and play it on the piano. Um, so there's like some little interbully, whoa, <laughs> interbully parts, interbully. So we've got like C to G and then B, and she's doing all of these little leaps. So if she wants, she can accompany herself and play it on the piano just to take a break from the flute, kind of like a little. And I think I put a subdominant in there too. So that's a nice way for her to kind of use her piano skills to help her out, and then she can play it on the flute again. practicing moving in intervals on those notes, G, A, B, and C, and also stepwise, C, B, A, G, G, A, B, C, and also practicing going back to that B flat, she's gonna need no B flat for band. So here's B, here's B flat, we're putting this down. She can practice going between those two. And she can still practice D, just to see if she can get that sound coming out more. It's your assignment for the week. Have fun.